I'll fix it here. Hey, what's in your toilet? I got something really strange in mine in the tank growing. And it is, it's out of this world, man. We're going to find out uh, what the heck is going on inside of here. Because, whoa, baby. I want you to see what the heck is going on inside of my toilet tank. So, I got the light set up here for you. Take a look in there. Have you seen anything like that? This was a real stumper. I couldn't figure out what's going on. But I've got a clue now. One of the clues is that it's in both of my bathrooms. You might know what it is if you know about this stuff already. Often you can take a look in that one. You notice we got the same kind of thing going on. Toilet bowl cleaner drop in with bleaching action. They both have these pellet things and they both have the same growth thing going on and it seems to be attached to those pellet things. I got online and looked. Sure enough, these things with bleach action, uh, pellet things for cleaning, are not supposed to go in the tank. So if you hook them on to the uh, toilet bowl, um, that's not too bad. But don't put them inside the tank. But first of all, what do we do when we find something outside that we think is really interesting? We want to poke it with a stick, right? Ever since I was a little kid, anything interesting like that, you find a toad or anything, you want to poke it. I want to poke this thing right here with this. And then I'm going to take that tablet out of there. So, let's see what happens. What's going on in here? Interesting. Alright, I'm going to take this tablet. We're going to get that out of there and put it in the trash. Alright. Well, what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah. Goopy. Gooky. Very strange, huh? Alright. We're going to have to see if we can clean this mess out of here. So I'm going to reach down here, turn off the water. Okay, I'll fix it with a problem. I actually whacked my head on the bottom of this corner. I mean, that is one sharp corner. I'm telling you what, I was bleeding my head. When I hit that, I came up and whacked that thing so hard. Be careful, folks. These are hazards of the job, so I ended up just quitting for the night. Now it's a whole nother day. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to clean this crap out of here. Hopefully without whacking my head again on the cabinet. Let's see. Take as much water out as we can. Goofy stuff. Look at that. Wow. You know, it's possible. Maybe I can just flush this stuff out once I stir it all up because it seems to be a soapy kind of a thing. But I'll get as much as I can out this way first. Seems like it's a concentration of uh, soapy detergent -y kind of a cleaning stuff. Okay, that's looking uh, a lot better. Might as well clean up the tank a little bit while we're at it. It's starting to look so much better. Uh, I'm going to get over to the other bathroom and tell me how I should have done this. Because <laughs> I'm probably not doing it right.
is Al Fixit saying goodbye and don't hit your head on the corner like that, like I did. I mean, check this. I mean, I really opened up my skull there. I was bleeding all over the place. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. <clears throat> so now it's time to feel sorry for me and hit the like button and subscribe. Oh, well, anyway. Hey, let me know in the comments if you know what the heck that was and which was the right way to clean it up. And also, your experience, drop-ins. I've been told that drop-ins in the tank eat up the flapper and all those parts. Uh, let me know. And uh, see you next time. All right. Bye.